Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree, and it is time for empties. This is an epic empties video. This bin is overflowing with stuff that I finished up this month. And it's crazy because I feel like I have this much stuff every single month, but I have been making an effort to use my stuff. And a lot of stuff I have has been open for a long time. I used half of it up and then put it away because I didn't want it to be gone. But this whole year and last year, I've been making an effort to use the stuff I already have. And although I am buying stuff here and there, I'm trying to make an effort to use the stuff I already have that's open and just finally use it up. So it's crazy to me that I'm still using up so many things, but I'm using it up, getting it out of here, emptying out my drawers, which is amazing. But let's just jump into all the stuff, okay? All right. This is the Tree Hut uh, Moisturizing Shave Oil. So this is a product I bought during Christmas, obviously. It's the candy cane scent. And I'd always wanted to try this, but I didn't think it was going to be that good. I thought shave oil was going to be, well, for one, oily. I thought it was going to be thick. I thought it was going to kind of solidify and harden in the shower, like once it hit the water. I also thought it was going to clog up the razor. It doesn't do any of those things. In fact, this doesn't feel oily at all. Um, to me, it feels like a really nice um, serum, like a face serum that you're putting all over your legs or wherever you're shaving. And it doesn't clog up the razor at all. It makes the razor glide so easily. It does leave your skin feeling nicely hydrated, but it won't strip your skin when you rinse it off like a traditional like shave cream tends to do or shaving foam. Um, it also doesn't leave behind a lot of residue. Like I don't feel the need to go out of my way to really like wash off an oily residue with this. This is really, really good. Um, I would repurchase this in a different scent, but I did really like the candy cane one. Although it didn't smell like mint or peppermint, it smelled like um, cotton candy, honestly. But I would repurchase that, I thought it was great. This is pink sugar. And I just put on a freaking ointment on my hands, the Cetaphil healing ointment. And they're so greasy now. And once I touch this bottle, it's all greasy. Like it looks insane. Anyway, that's just the grease from my hands, not the way the bottle looks. Anyway, it's a perfume I wanted so badly because Bethany Moda mentioned this in a video years and years ago. And I just knew I was gonna like it even though I had never smelled it before. I didn't even know what it smelled like. But we had it at work one day on clearance because back then, 10 years ago, this cost $60. I remember it so well, but it was on clearance for $11. That's the only reason I bought it and I loved it. I used probably half of the bottle within the first month of having this. I was spraying it on myself all the time. I sprayed it before bed. I would spray it directly on my skin because I loved the way that this would mix with like the way my skin smelled. And I smelled so good when I wake up in the morning. I loved everything about this. But then I put it away because I kind of got like, like the scent was reminding me so much of like a time frame and I, you know how scent just does that? It like transports you quickly to a different time. This was doing that every single time and I was like, oh, like it just didn't smell the same to me. But I pulled it out again recently and actually just this month and I used up the rest of it. I was spraying this every single day. I absolutely love this. I haven't even told you what it smells like. It smells like cotton candy, um, but in like a, a really good, not too sweet kind of way. I mean, I'm sure some people think this is way too sweet, but I love it. I loved this so, so much. I almost repurchased it the other day at Nordstrom Rack. This is the Wonder Black Bamboo Mist. This is one of those products that I had that was like this full and I put it away because I didn't want it to be gone. Um, one of my favorite toners of all time that I cannot wait to repurchase, but I'm waiting till I finish up a few other things is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. That stuff I put on forehead to foot. I put on my whole body. I love it. Oh, it's so good. So I thought the mist was going to be that in a mist form, but it's not. Like this doesn't feel like that toner at all, but it's nice. Like I, I used it. It just felt like a nice refreshing little spray, but it wasn't the toner in a mist form like I thought. I wouldn't repurchase it. This is the Dove Foaming Body Wash. I think I used this whole thing up in like two weeks and I'm not joking. I bought it this month and finished it up this month. And I thought the foaming one was going to last a lot longer than it did. Because I don't know why I just thought the foam was going to last for like three or four months, but I feel like I used it up so fast. 
So I wouldn't repurchase one of these foams. If I was gonna buy another Dove body wash, it'd be just one of the regular cream body washes in the bottle. I think those are a lot nicer. They got a better scent. They also have like more moisture. On, they leave a lot more moisture on your skin. This one didn't really feel particularly moisturizing. It, I mean, it didn't strip my skin either, but it was fine. I don't know, I just didn't really love it. But it does say on the back that it's gentle enough for the face. Interesting. Wouldn't repurchase it. This is another one of those products I've had for probably three years at this point. The Innisfree Bija Trouble Body Mist. This is one of those things I bought when I was on Style Korean and I was just buying up all the stuff because anytime I shop there, I like to spend the threshold for free shipping. And this is one of those items I threw in the box and it probably had like this much in it left. And it had been sitting for probably two years unused. So I decided just to use it up this month and this is supposed to be, um, I really don't know, it's not in English on the back. It just says this body, ma body mist is formulated with terea seed oil and D-panthenol to help relieve irritated skin for a moisturized and soothed skin. So it's like for irritated skin, I guess. This, I didn't really notice anything with this. It truly just felt like I was spraying water into my skin that had like a tea tree kind of scent to it. Sprayed it all over my body several times after the shower in the morning and now it's gone. It's forgettable and I would not repurchase it. So this is a little eye cream from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Marine... What is it called? The Hyaluronic Marine Do It Right Eye Gel. And this is another one of those products I kept for probably two or three years at this point because I didn't want it to be gone because I loved it so much. And this month I just decided to use it up. And you know what? It's a wonderful eye cream. I could never get the lid off. Especially not with all this crap on my hands. Okay. It doesn't matter, you don't need to see what's under the lid. It's in an airless pump. It's really juicy and dewy and hydrating and glowy. I loved everything about this. Uh, the full size I'm sure is expensive, but I have so many little eye creams to use. But I'm glad I used it up. Glad I just used it up, got it out of the, got it out of the drawer, got my fill of it, and I got to use it before it went bad, which is what I'm trying to do with my stuff. This is from Beauty of Josan, the Revive Eye Serum with Ginseng and Retinol. This was sent to me by Style Korean. And you know what? I really liked this. This is, um, so Retinol is a little bit different kind of retinol. I'll link below in the description box Kelly Driscoll's video. She does a whole dedicated video on this eye cream and she talks about what Retinol is and how it's different from Retinol and all that stuff. Uh, so everything I've learned about this, I learned from her video. Anyway. It's supposed to be a lot gentler of a retinol, I think. Um, I did use this every single night and it never irritated my eyes. I use it under my eyes and on the eyelid as well. Never irritated my eyes or anything like that. But I feel like this, okay, I feel like this might have been more of a preventative type of thing. Like when I use a retinol product on my skin, I want to see my skin changing. And with this, I think it may have prevented lines from maybe starting to form that would have formed had I not been using this. Do you know what I mean? So I liked it, but I wouldn't repurchase it. But it's very, very gentle, and I think more of a uh, preventative type of thing. I used a butt load of sheet masks this month. I was on a rampage with sheet masking, so I'm just gonna kinda quickly go through all of these. I'm sure there are a couple in the bottom here, but here's a little stack I'm just gonna show you. One of my all-time favorites are the Myrol Squeeze Masks from Innisfree. This is the green tea one. My favorite is the aloe, but it's really nice. It has a great thin type of serum and a really nice mask. I buy those all the time. I really, really like them. I used up a bunch from the cream shop. So I bought a couple of packs of these at, I think it was Ross when I found these. I used the uh, Fusion Sheet Mask, the Collagen Cherries one. This one was great. And I also used the Vitamin C Hyaluronic Acid Fusion Mask. I really, really like these Fusion Masks from the Cream Shop a lot, and I did use up a few of them. Uh, but my favorite, one of my absolute favorites from the Cream Shop, though, is the Rose Water Mask. This isn't a Fusion one, it's just the Infused Essence Mask. Anytime I ever see this, it's usually TJ Maxx, Marshalls, places like that, I buy it. I absolutely love it. This was from Absolute, the Rejuvenate Plant Mask. I think I got this one for Christmas. This one was really nice. The serum was okay, but the mask was really, really good. It felt so thick. It felt like an old t-shirt or something. Super nice. I really liked the actual mask part. It was really good. And then I used up two masks from Patchology. They did send me these. 
These are the five minute sheet masks, the flash mask hydrating mask, and I do really like these ones. Most of their masks I feel are better suited for daytime, just because of the amount of serum that's in the packet, the kind of results you get, which are almost instant. I like using their masks a lot during the day, but these hydrating ones are really nice at night because they got a lot of good juicy serum in them and really happy to have them. And then one more mask I used from Patchology were these. These uh, were a warming hand mask. So it looks like you're putting your hand in like a little oven to kind of cook. There's a bunch of serum in here and it's just like a big mitten you kind of keep on for however long you want. I probably kept them on for half hour to an hour. Um, I liked these, but I would not go out of my way to buy these again. I mean, they sent them to me, so I wouldn't go out of my way to buy them at all. One, I didn't love the mitten type of thing here, but I get, I do get it because maybe it was meant to like, not like to make you relax, you know, like you're not going to be on your phone, you're not going to be doing anything, just sit with your mittens on and relax. Maybe that's what it was meant to do, but I like a, a, a head mask that has gloves with your fingers in it. So didn't really love that. And I also didn't get warming from this at all. Like the serum never felt warm. I didn't get the warming part, but the serum was good and it felt really good on my hands. I had lasting effects from it, but didn't, not a big fan of like the mitten type of thing. And it didn't really warm at all. This was from Hand in Hand, the body wash in the scent Cactus Blossom. So I think they put this in this aluminum bottle because normally this isn't like a tall plastic like squeeze out, like you just squeeze it out kind of bottle. And uh, I think they put it in this aluminum bottle because during the pandemic, you know how every single brand started making hand soap and hand sanitizer? This was one of those brands and this was the exact bottle they were using for those products. So I'm guessing they're still just trying to use them up, which I get, that's kind of cool, you know, use the packaging you already have. And this scent was one of my absolute favorite body washes I had ever used. I remember when I first bought it, it like I died over this scent, it's really good. But there was something about this one that smelled really weird. Um, it smelled the way that this face wash from Neutrogena that I used smelled, where it smells like this is the liquid that is unscented that smells funny and then this is the fragrance they put on it to make the unscented part not smell funny but as you're using it the unscented part takes over and you can't really smell the body wash smell anymore you just smell the unscented weird smell that smells like dirt or like mud or something i'm gonna be honest i only use this because earlier this month i had the virus and I couldn't smell anything for a long time so i used this body wash up during that time because i couldn't smell it so I used to love this, but I don't know what happened. It doesn't smell the same to me anymore. Would not repurchase. This is the Tr Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Butter. What a thorn in my side. This is something I do kind of regret buying. I was definitely sucked into the hype on this. So they did just bring this out again this summer. It's like a seasonal release for them. They put out a body butter, a body scrub, a body wash, and a candle all in the same scent. They're all available right now. So if you like this stuff, it's out there right now, go get it. This was kind of their take on the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, but this is not even in the dupe conversation. It doesn't smell similar. It doesn't smell anything like it whatsoever. When I smell this, I don't smell that. I just, I smell something totally its own thing. It smells good, but there's something weird about it that I'm like, ugh. Like I, I inhale it and then at the very end, I'm like, ugh, what's that? Kind of weird. Um, it doesn't smell like it. It doesn't feel like it. It's not a dupe. Not even close. Um, but it's nice. It's a nice body butter, but I would never repurchase this. I was so sick of this, like after just a few uses, but I made myself use it up and would never repurchase. A body wash that I loved so much. I want to buy this again. I wanted to buy it again right away. It's from Cremo and it's part of their reserve collection. It's the Palo Santo body wash. This smelled in freaking credible. And I had originally bought this for my boyfriend, but someone I really, really love online mentioned that she bought this and that she was using it and that she loved the scent. And I was like, why, why can't I use the body wash that I bought that I love the smell of? But for some reason I felt like I couldn't use it. Like, I don't, it was really weird. I bought this because I liked the smell of it, but I said, oh, I have to give it to my boyfriend. It's a men's body wash. This is so good. If you like men's body washes, but you also want them to have like a nice light, fresh scent to them, 
This is so complex. So it says bright cardamom dry papyrus aromatic palo santo. And on the back, it also says that the, it's uniquely layered to evolve as you wash and they are not lying. Once you put this onto a loofah or a cloth, like as, as you're sudsing it up and as you're using it, the scent is just like, it's so amazing. I, it's, it's incredible. This is one of the best smells I've ever smelled in my life. I want to use that forever. And I didn't go buy it right away because I have other body washes I need to use, but I miss this. I love it. Oh, so good. Another um, cream shop mask. This, ooh, I loved this. This was from Farmhouse Fresh, the Velvet Moon Dip Back to Youth Ageless Mousse. And it's like a body moisturizer enriched with peptides. This was something I got in the uh, Beauty Test Tube subscription box. This was really, really freaking good. This felt like one of the most luxurious creams I'd ever used. It felt like it was whipped, but not like all the way whipped. Like it was still creamy, but light and fluffy. It was, it was a beautiful formula. It felt so luxurious. And it had an amazing vanilla scent. This is the best vanilla that I've ever smelled. It smelled authentic, but not perfumey. It just smelled so lovely. Uh, I would buy this. I ran out of this last night actually, and I was super sad. And I actually think I'm gonna cut this open and see if I can get one more like a two leg use out of this. Like there's always some in there on the side, you know? I love this so much. I'm gonna cut that open and see what I could get out of it. Okay, this is from Twisted Allure, the cute as hell hand soap. This was the grape scented hand soap. Um, I did a Twisted Allure unboxing video. I wouldn't, I, mean, I wouldn't repurchase this. It was just a hand soap, but the allure of the brand is definitely the stickers that they put on the packaging. Um, but it's just hand soap. Like, I don't need to spend that much on hand soap. Uh, it was fine. This was one of my favorite products I've ever used. This is from Anomaly and it's the bonding treatment mask. And I feel like this brand left Target and I don't know where they're sold at now in stores, um, but they left Target. So I bought a couple of their things that I saw going on clearance. The bonding treatment mask was one of my favorites and it was only $11 full size or full price. So of course this is like their take on something from Olaplex. I felt a huge difference in my hair when I started using this. Um, I felt like my hair was growing the same amount, but you know sometimes when you feel like your hair is not growing, but you can obviously see roots growing out of your head, but your hair's not getting any longer, it's because all the ends keep breaking off. You're not noticing it, but the ends are probably really damaged and they're slowly cracking and breaking. And I feel like when I started using this, I started noticing my hair actually longer. It was longer, it felt better. It's such a lightweight hair conditioner too. Like it's a mask, but it doesn't feel like a super heavy duty hair mask like a lot of hair masks do. Rinse is clean, rinse is clean off of your skin and off of your back. It doesn't feel all slimy. This was one of my favorite, favorite hair products ever. I think I have one more of these to use and then I'm gonna have to go like search them out online or something. It was awesome. This was a little serum that I also got in the beauty test tube from Glow Skin Beauty. These are anti-stress CBD drops. The bottle got really messed up just from use because there's like a paint on the glass and the paint kept coming off into my hands with the serum and it was really, really annoying. Uh, I don't know why they painted it white. That's kind of weird. But anyway, I was very confused about these because I didn't know if they were an ingestible drop or something to put on your skin. It says anti-stress CBD drops, 1000 milligrams of CBD adaptogen calming serum. Like that sounds like an ingestible calming thing, doesn't it? But it's not, it's for your face. And although I did really like this, I used up every little drop. I had the bottle and I was like pouring it into my hand, like sliming the bottle on my hand, trying to get every drop out of it. I did like this, it felt really good on my skin. I didn't notice any particular calming benefits from it but I really liked this. And if I got something else from this brand in a subscription box, I would be very excited to have it. But I bet this is very expensive because um, Beauty Test Tube sends some pricey things, but they're always so good. I love that box a lot. This was a mask from the Inky List, the Kaolin Clay Mask. Uh, I bought this because Gothamista did a video a while back on the Inky List when they first came to Sephora. And it was a video about every product that they currently had on offer. 
And this was one of the masks. I think she had mentioned liking it, so I was like, oh my god, I gotta get it. And it literally sat in my drawer ever since I got it. Definitely over two years. It wasn't open, but I opened and used this whole thing up this month. There wasn't a lot in here. And I also don't know what this was supposed to do. It was a clay mask, but it never really dried down on my skin, which was great, because usually clay masks feel really tight. They crack, they feel like itchy. This one stayed really nice and creamy. It rinsed really cleanly, but I don't know what it was supposed to do. I remember even looking up the claims. Uh, I don't remember what they were, because this, this did really nothing. Would not repurchase. This was from Beauty of Josan, the Glow Serum with Propolis and Niacinamide. I think I bought this one myself. They sent me one of these serums, I don't remember which one it is, but I think I bought this one. Um, anyway, this was fine. I don't know about it being like the best serum ever, but there's another one that they have that I also used up and I preferred that one so much more to this. I don't even remember the name of it, but it looks just like this. It's one of their like three serums that they have. So this one was okay. I didn't really notice anything particularly amazing about it. It did keep my skin looking really dewy and juicy and fresh and bright, but I have a lot of serums that do the same kind of stuff and this one just didn't like blow me out of the water. You know what I mean? What did we purchase? Oh my gosh, this was such a wild ride. So this is from Carez, Carez, Corez, Corez. This is the Wild Rose Brightening and First Wrinkles Advanced Repair Sleeping Facial Vitamin C. I just read you everything on the packaging here. I'm sure most people just call it the Wild Rose Sleeping Facial. So this is another one of those products that I had forever, but I never wanted to use it because I thought it was gonna be heavily perfumed and the texture was gonna be like waxy and heavy and I wasn't going to like it. The first night that I used this, I was blown away. I was putting it on and I was like, Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. I'm in love. The, the texture of this is one of the most luxurious things I've ever felt. It's such a refined, beautiful, like, mmm, type of cream. I loved it a lot. But then, over the preceding days that I continued to use this every single night, um, I just noticed my skin getting super tight when I would put this on. And now, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I wasn't supposed to use it every single day. I'll have to look it up. There's not a lot of English on the directions here. It just says apply to your face and neck. Um, but I probably should have looked it up to see if I was maybe only supposed to use it like once or twice a week. But I found that the more I used it and up until I used it up, every time I put it on, my face was tight. Like it would dry down tight. And I felt like, oh, like I needed to put oil on or something. So... Maybe I overused it, but it felt super luxurious. I'm glad I didn't buy the full size like I wanted to that first day because then I'd have a full size to have to work through. And I got my fill with the mini. I wouldn't repurchase, but I would welcome another mini. Ooh, a piece of makeup I finished up. I finished up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I used this thing all the way up. I scraped it with my little Ulta spatula. So... You unscrew the top from here, by the way, not from here. Like, I, I literally was like, I'm gonna get a tool and cut this open. But you unscrew it from here, in case you're struggling with that too. Um, I got my little tool in here and I wiped all around the packaging. I got as much out as I possibly could. And I adore this. I adore this so much. Best foundation in the world. But they discontinued it, but I got my fill. I used every little bit up and I was very proud of myself for using that up because if I had known that it was discontinued before I was working on finishing it up, I wouldn't have finished it. I would have set it aside and tried to make it last five years. You know what I mean? But I'm glad I didn't know because I used it up. Amazing. Would repurchase if they still made it. Oh my God. I told you I was on a sheet mask rampage. Okay. A couple more from the cream shop. I told you I bought like a 10 pack of these. So I'm just using them all up. A couple more from Innisfree. Another one from Patchology. This is the Surf Chilled Bubbly Hydrogel Brightening Face Mask. And this is actually the mask that made me realize that they make masks that are way better suited to daytime and like special occasions uh, because this is one that I noticed instant results with. My skin looked great. And I did regret using this because I used it at night. And I wish I had saved it for the day for like a special occasion or a day I really want my skin to look amazing. Um, I loved this a lot and I think I have a couple more as well. And then another Innisfree one. 
I also used up the Burt's Bees Micellar Facial Towelettes. I haven't used a makeup wipe like this in a very, very, very long time. Um, I don't buy makeup wipes anymore. I don't really feel a need for them. And ever since I started buying uh, these rags that are super stained now, I use these to wipe off swatches with. And that's what I was primarily buying these for, but I don't need these anymore. So why do I have these? Well, I bought a little set from Ulta. And it was like a skincare favorite set or something, and these were in there. And you know what? These were amazing. These were so freaking good. I was not expecting these to be good at all. I thought they were going to be dry. They were going to burn. They were going to be irritated. They weren't going to be soft. They weren't going to work. These were great. These were probably the best makeup wipes I've used in forever. Like I loved them so much. I actually wanted to buy them in a full size, but I didn't because I really don't need them. And these were awesome. They were super duper soft. They got off all my makeup. I didn't go out of my way to like rub off all my mascara, but they softened up the mascara really nicely. So it came off super well with just my regular face wash. Um, and then they were super soft too. It says here that they use cotton left over for making t-shirts and they turn them into these wipes. That's why they were so soft. I love these a lot and I think about buying them all the time, but I don't need to. Okay, this is from Sephora. This is the Melting Cleansing Balm. And I have been on a roll with getting cleansing balms that I don't like. I, there are so, there's two different kinds of cleansing balms out there. There's the really thick, sticky ointment type of cleansing balm. And then there's the one that you put in your hands and it immediately melts into oil. This is the Thick Sticky Ointment Cleansing Balm. And I, I wouldn't buy this again, although I did use it all up and I wiped it out. Um, it's just too thick and sticky. You have to like pull and tug over your skin. You gotta like pull it through your lashes. It's very uncomfortable to use. I don't wanna pull and tug all over my face to get cleansing balm on. Although it did rinse very cleanly, the second water touches it, it's falling off of your face. Takes the makeup with it, doesn't strip the skin. It was effective, but uh, not a pleasant experience. Also, this has like a foil seal over the top, and if you don't remove every single scrap of foil from here, it's going to cut you. This piece right here that, that I left sliced open my finger because I was using it, I was wiping out all the rest of the, the balm, and this sliced right through my finger. I couldn't believe it. So wouldn't repurchase, just not elegant enough for my liking. This is another product that I've had for years, for years. The Innisfree Green Tea Seed Eye Cream. I've had this, I don't even remember when I bought it, but I know we didn't live in this house when I bought this. And it's a huge tub, it's an ounce, 1.01 fluid ounces of eye cream. I really enjoy the, the Innisfree Green Tea Seed line. Right now I'm using the toner, I love it. Love that fake scent that they put in here, it just smells so lovely. This took a really long time to use up. It was, it was really dewy and glowy and juicy on my under eyes, very moisturizing, but this irritated my eyes like crazy. Every single time I used this, my eyes would water and water and water. So I ended up using this as a face moisturizer and just avoided the eye area and it was just fine. Uh, liked it, but wouldn't repurchase. All right, let's talk about a few of these minis. The Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. I freaking loved this so much. I shopped my stash for this for May and I used it up. I used it every single day until I used it up. It was beautiful. It was like, again, a very, very luxurious feeling product. Like, it's something I wanted to just like carry down here and onto my arms. Like, it just felt really, really good. Um, it did make my makeup look really nice. It was a really smoothing, lightly hydrating, kind of pore filling primer. It didn't have that weird silicone feeling to it. Loved this, immediately put it on my wish list, but I know I probably won't buy it. This was the Primera Alpine Berry Water Cream, and this is something that I used to dislike a lot. And I've had a couple of these little minis over time, and I remember this back then either not being moisturizing enough, I felt like it irritated my skin, but I've had this little mini for a long time because I thought I didn't like it. But I decided just to use it, and you know what? It's awesome, it's so good. It smells incredible, it felt really good, kind of like a watery moisturizer. I love anything called water cream, I usually love. And I wanted to buy a full size right away. Loved it so much. But it's very expensive, I wouldn't buy the full size. 
This was the Trader Joe's Kombucha Rose Oil Cleansing Oil. This was just a little uh, sample that was in the Trader Joe's advent calendar this past holiday season. I don't think they sell this in a full size, but I wish they would because it works really, really good and I think people would really like it. This was from Stray Vectin, the multi-action Super C Retinol uh, Bright and Correct Vitamin C Serum. Another product that I bought just to buy it. I bought this because I wanted to have it, I wanted to try it, but I didn't actually want to open and use it. This sat there for a long, long time unopened. But I finally opened it, used it all up this month, and it was okay. It was one of those vitamin C's that smells like metal, like really metallic, I could smell it on my face all the time. Um, and even though this is a tiny little opaque bottle, it started out clear. But by the time I was like barely even done using it, it was dark orange. So I can't believe it oxidized that quickly in this tiny little bottle. Like I would never buy this in a full size. Never. And I'm sure it's expensive. Ooh, this was one of my favorite serums. This is from You Beauty. It's the Super Hydrator. This is something I'm sure I got in an Allure box or in the beauty test tube. This was an awesome, very intense hydrating serum. It mostly didn't feel like a serum. It felt like a treatment. Like it was kind of thick, not too hard to spread across the face or anything. Like it was just like a thicker kind of serum. And the first time I used this, I actually used too much because you only need one pump of this for your whole face and neck. It is intensely hydrating, moisturizing as well. Oh, I loved this a lot and I was so sad to run out of it. But this is a very pricey brand. I would welcome another sample, but I wouldn't buy a full size. This was a face moisturizer from My Pillim. Um, Sure, I got this in some sort of beauty box. This was really good as a hand cream, but I did not like it on the face for one particular reason. The texture always made me feel like I was not supposed to put this on my face. It was just like a weird, like it had the same texture and look as a foaming cream cleanser, kind of like shiny and weird. That's what this looked like, and it smelled like vapor rub. This smelled like Vicks, like 100% Vicks, so I always felt weird putting it on my face. Nice as a face moisturizer. Wouldn't buy that ever. These, on the other hand, were one of my favorite, favorite things I've ever used from Isentree, the Spot Saver Mugwort Powder Wash. So in this container, there were, I don't know how many, a bunch of little single packets of powder. They were all just in here, and again, this was another thing that I bought just because I wanted it, but I never actually used it. And actually, all of them were expired, um, but they still work just the same. And I actually started using these up because I went on a trip and I took a few of these with me. So it was a little powder packet you rip open, you pour it into your hand, and just the moisture that's on your hands, especially if you're already in the shower, your hands are already wet, it'll make the, the powder kind of turn into a wash. And it is the softest, most amazing face wash I've ever used. Use it on your eyes. I use it as a second cleanse every single day. I use it as a morning cleanser. I really, really, really enjoyed this, and I didn't think I would because it's called Spot Saver, and it also said mild peeling. So I thought it was gonna be like really drying on my skin, but it wasn't. It was just so good. My skin felt so incredibly soft, never stripped, really good. Like, I loved this a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, oh, there was 25 in here. And I would buy this again. Buy it again in a heartbeat. I have a couple face washes I wanna use up first. And I would love to see if they have this in like a bottle where I could just pour some powder out instead of having a little packet every day. But these were the freaking bomb. Would repurchase 100%. This was from Trader Joe's, one of my favorite and most repurchased products of all time. This is the Hydrating Hyaluronic Body Gel Cream. So this is a totally 100% fragrance free moisturizer. And I love having this because there are days when I want to wear a perfumey body lotion, but I don't want to get a headache or I don't feel like smelling it all day. And I'll use some of this and then put a little bit of the perfumed lotion in the, in the mix and then I put it on. Um, using this on its own, it's great as well. It's really lightweight, um, really nice, easy to spread across the skin, sinks in really easily. It'd be a great moisturizer for summer, but it's also great all year round. I buy this all the time. I love it a lot. Love having it around. Forgot to buy it when I was there last. I used up a By Nature Hyaluronic Acid Prickly Pear Sheet Mask. I don't really remember anything about it. Okay, I just have a little, like, tiny handful of stuff left here. 
This is the Urban Hydration Bright and Balanced Aloe Vera Leaf Face Wash. I, I don't know, I just don't get this brand. Like I don't get what they're trying to do. Um, like the name, Urban Hydration, the, the branding, the packaging, it all just looks like, oh my God, I was gonna say the dollar store. It just looks kind of like cheap to me. All the products are made in China. I don't know, I had a really bad experience with the face mask. And this was a little sample that was in that skincare bag I bought from Ulta. It's forgettable. So mean, but what are you gonna do? This is the Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen, the SPF 36. This is one of my favorite sunscreens of all time. I have used up a full size of this. I will repurchase a full size. I love it. It's a great, just everyday, basic, nice, creamy sunscreen. Blends into the skin nice, doesn't sit funny under makeup. It's great. I love everything about this. Would repurchase in a full size for Sherzy's. This was a Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask, another product that I never wanted to finish up because then it would be gone, even though it's a little sample. I used this a few times as a morning, like, wash-off mask before I washed my face in the morning. And you know what? It was nice. It reminded me of how much I used to love these Peter Thomas Roth masks. Um, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta go buy a full size now. I want to buy a full size of the rose one, but I don't need it. I have so many freaking masks to use, but this was nice. It was a nice piece of nostalgia. And then I, ooh, I used up this little mini of the MAC, MAC Stack Mascara. This was awesome, but if I've learned anything about using mini mascaras is that the full sizes are never as good as the minis are. So even though I would love to buy this in a full size, I would not. It's really, really lovely. You can get the longest, most volumized lashes of your life. Love this a lot. This was another little uh, wash off cream mask I used from Papa Recipe. This was something, it was something to put on and wash off, but I didn't really notice it do anything. It was kind of useless. <laughs> and I used up a big old lip gloss from Maybelline. I used up the lifter gloss in the shade Ice. I love this so, so much. It does look like there's a little bit left at the bottom, but there's nothing in there. I think it's just like, the color that's there like around the sides it makes it look like there's something in there but this is empty. Lovely scent, just really thick, nice moisturizing gloss. I do have one more of these in a different shade. Love it a lot. Would repurchase this but I have no need for a gloss. Two little perfumes I used up this month. The Prada Candy Perfume. You know what? This smelled like the elevated version of this. Very similar scent, like you could tell it's very heavy cotton candy type of fragrance, but this just smelled more elevated, a little more elegant, a little more refined, but still super sweet and lovely, and I liked this a lot. And definitely because I was really into the cotton candy scent this month, this just came in handy and I loved it. And then I used up a little mini Aqua de Joya perfume. Uh, this is another one of those like classic per Classic perfumes that smells really good, but I think it smells a little dated to me. Like this smells like the late 90s, not that there's anything wrong with that, but this doesn't smell like a current fresh, like current scent. Does that make any sense? It smells lovely though. And then two more things. The Rimmel Kind and Free Brow Definer Pencil. This is the shade Espresso. I love this. I love this so freaking much. You do get a spoolie on one side and of course a like tiny little pencil on the other side. I'm almost out. I think I have like this much left of my current brow pencil and I do want to repurchase this. I just love the shade. It was a little darker and cooler than, a, than I normally pick and I loved it. I do want to repurchase it and it was pretty cheap too. And the last product of the Epic Empties. I have to count and see how many things I used up. The Coats Healthier Sunscreen, Flawless Complexion, Tinted, SPF 50, Vanishing Zinc Oxide for Face. This is an SPF 50 mineral sunscreen. It has a light tint to it. And you know what? I actually forgot this was mineral because it's so freaking elegant. I'm gonna see if I could squeeze out a little tiny, tiny bit more from here. Maybe, maybe I'll get a dot. Just so you, oh look, I got a little bit. So it does have a little bit of a tint to it, but it doesn't stay tinted on your skin. At least on my skin tone, I couldn't tell at all. It blends in like an absolute dream. I mean, this feels really, really good on the skin. The only thing with this sunscreen though that I kept forgetting about is that it's ultra mega over the top moisturizing. It is 
so, so moisturizing. So I always forget to use this just as my moisturizer and kind of skip moisturizer altogether because every time I'd use this as sunscreen on top of my skincare, it was like over the top. But it was really good. Definitely one of the best mineral sunscreens I had ever, ever tried. I actually forgot it was mineral just because it felt that good on my skin. I don't need to buy sunscreen anytime soon, but this would be one that I would look at for my face. It was awesome. And that is it. Those are all of the things I used up this month. It was quite a bit of stuff, but you know what? I'm really enjoying using up the things I have, like this perfume I had for over 10 years. Finally used it up, got my fill, loved it. Now I can move on to something else. And I've been really, really enjoying using up my stuff, but I do every single month. I love finishing stuff up. But let me know some stuff you used up this month. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later for another video. Goodbye. Goodbye.